how to overcome the fear of success as an entrepreneur. Now, I'm a psychologist, I work with entrepreneurs together, and I just wanna share a couple of uh, insights and experiences that I have with people that I dissolved those fears. Now, you're probably afraid that you're growing too fast or that uh, something will happen if you become more successful that you can then not handle. Maybe it's the amount of employees that you have, um, maybe it's that other people will hate you maybe sometimes it's also random things that i had a, had a german client and in german the taxes are a little tricky and then he was afraid what if i make so much money that then the government actually looks at me and takes a closer look and then notices i'm doing the taxes wrong and then i'm really messed up because i need to pay huge massive fines i'm afraid of that <laughs> you know sometimes it's also very specific things such as those uh, and that really hinders him he notices that throughout the day he, he's not this wild lion of taking the necessary actions to actually massively grow and we dissolve that and um, you might have your own specific example but it is about the fear of success now the first question here is maybe you don't answer this right now maybe you can already um, but that's an important thing to answer is what is this fear trying to protect you from because we are not born with fear that scientists have, true, have, have proven that fear and anxiety, that's mainly something not genetically. Maybe, for example, with like snakes, like things that move on the ground, then we have this reflex of like, go back, maybe that's something threatening. But fear of success, that's a social fear. And social fears in that regard are usually not, there's no genetic reason. That means you've learned this somewhere. You've learned this in the past. In the past, it probably made sense. For example, in your childhood, um, I had this one client telling me he was playing very good piano in, in school and then other students were press pressing him against the wall and saying like, hey man, like this is like, what are you doing? You don't make other people look bad. Like you've learned very early on in life. You should not be very successful. Otherwise people hate you, um, right? So there are things that you learned early on in life that even made sense. Because he, if he would have just moved around and showed off more in high school, he probably wouldn't have any friends or whatever, right? So it was maybe in a sense, even back then, good to not be so successful. But now it's hindering you a lot. And it's important to understand where this is coming from. I also had another client and um, she's a dentist. And as a dentist, you usually, usually earn, you can earn quite some good money. Um, she was also a German client. And though she was afraid to charge, and she was afraid to charge high, even if she could, and it would have been fair. And she was actually living on her bare minimum because she was always afraid to charge. And we also figured out, okay, where is this belief coming from? How are you trying to protect yourself? The core question, how is this trying to protect you? And we noticed in her family that her grandfather, he actually had quite some money. They also had a big house, very successful. And then he gambled everything away. He lost it all. And early on in life, there was so much trauma and drama, both of that, in the family that she learned and she had this belief, whoever is having a lot can lose a lot. And that's why she was always afraid to have a lot and charge a lot. Yeah. And again, this belief was just trying to protect her protect her from falling deep and going again through this massive trauma that she had already back in her childhood. So question for you, you're afraid of success. Where is this coming from? Maybe you cannot answer this right now, but, but we could, I'll, I'll talk about this in the end of the video, but that's very important to understand where is this coming from? And how was this trying to protect you even? Because it usually made sense at some point. Another example might be you're generally feeling afraid to, if you make some more money, if you focus more on making more money, you feel just like an evil money seeker. Maybe that's some, some sort of subconscious rule that you learned throughout growing up in your family. Maybe people and your father and your mother didn't explicitly talk bad about people who were rich, but you kind of got the feeling that this is not, not something you do generally and though now you're doing this like you are becoming more successful you're on the way of becoming a millionaire or you're already a millionaire and you kind of get the subconscious feeling of this is not acceptable in my family 
you know, or maybe you don't want to be more successful than your father. Could be really also sometimes subconscious things. Um, and again, this is protecting you because you just want to feel connected to your family. You just want to be loved by others, by your closed ones, and you don't want to lose that. Makes sense. And here's another very important point. The strategy now that you're taking is to not become successful. This serves a purpose. And it is a solution to your problem, which is, for example, I'm afraid to lose my parents, that they disown me, that they don't like me anymore, they don't love me anymore. So maybe let's not become successful. Great, that's a good solution. It's a solution to stay connected with your family, to not get fined by the government millions of, of euros. You just don't become successful. Then they cannot do this, right? It works. So what you're doing right now, this fear of success that you're having is a solution. The question is just, is this the optimal solution? Because you're paying a, a large price, which is success. And our task then would be to find another solution that serves both purposes. So what is this trying to protect you from and keep protect you from that? while also becoming successful that's the key i hope that made sense if you want to dig deeper into that because this video is just a big picture video if you want to have clear tangible coaching that helps you to let go of your fear of success just book a call with me there's a link below and i'll talk to you soon